Well, this is like the ninth updated video of me complaining. Um, so, <laughs> this is funny. So my car is already done. Um, it was done at six o'clock. And I said, well, I'll come get it Monday. And they said that was fine. And she texts me and tells me the price. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shit myself. I said, uh, what? So, Subaru said they were gonna pay 1500 which they did. Uh, the lady held her word. Uh, that's, you know, that's what she she said. She said, you pay the other 400 uh, and eighty dollars, you know, with taxes, it's gonna be around five hundred. I said, hey, that's fine. You know, that's fine with me. You know, um, that's that's she still give me a break. Well, it turns out she texts me and tells me it's eight hundred dollars or something like that with with taxes. I said, excuse me. It, I, I'm horrible at math. Okay, horrible. I use a calculator for everything, but you're not gonna tell me that. It's 7.5% in Florida right now. It went up just a hair. You're not gonna tell me that taxes is 400 and something dollars. So, come to find out, I did some digging. Uh, I got the invoice. Um, she tried to explain it to me on the phone and I still didn't understand what she was saying. But I think she's, all due respect, I think she's wrong. <laughs> so it looks like the the full total, when they said $1,900, that was for parts and labor. That was not, she, the dealership didn't tell me or Subaru of America, that was the invoice they said it was going to be. They did not tell us that, first of all, it actually was, it came out to be $2,300 plus tax, or $2,300 with tax. So it, it looks like, Subaru of America thought the $1,900 is what it was, just like I did. So I took away, I don't, I'm driving right now, but basically I, I subtracted $1,500 of whatever the invoice was. And sure enough, with taxes, it was $805. So I'm a little pissed because my car is, put to, my car is already put together and I'm going to have to pay that. Unless the, I called Subaru of America, I left a voicemail with the lady uh, that dealt with me earlier. It's actually right right where I was when she called me going to my dentist's office. Um, I left her a nice message and I gave her a nice voicemail and I sent the invoice and I said, you know, there was some confusion. I said, you know, you did tell me on the phone uh, you'd pay 1500 I only had to pay the other 400 and something dollars. Was that fine? And I said, yes. And they record those calls. So it wasn't her fault or my fault. So hopefully, since the dealership did not give her the accurate number of what it was going to be, hopefully she honors that, what she gave me, and she calls them up tomorrow or Monday, and she takes care of it. I have a feeling she's going to do something. I don't know if she's going to pay the full $800, but I have a feeling that she's going to pay more of it. I, I, I really hope so. Um, because that was the point, guys, of me keeping the car. Um, you know, I said to myself, if it was if it was way over so much money, I wasn't going to keep it. But since they, you know, were working with me and they said they were going to help with the repairs, no, nah, that's that's crazy. So if she decides and says, well, we are not. There's a cop. If they're if we are not going to do anything, it's already said and done. I'm sorry that you know Kendall made that mistake. I'm sorry the dealership didn't make that mistake, but we've already put it in. I don't think she's going to do that. I think she's just a decent person and I was on the same page as she was I th but for some reason if she doesn't do anything I'm going to pick up my car I'm going to drive my car and in about four months I'm going to take my car and trade it in on another car with no money down unless I get a way better deal in those four months so um, or I, I may do it sooner you know I'll, I'll find out so, I'm a little, a little pissed, a little at shock. I just want this to be over and done with. I just want my car back and just want the repairs fixed. You know, I didn't do anything to the car. I don't even understand why I have to pay anything at all. But again, I didn't want to argue with her on the phone. You know, it is what it is. 
It is uh, out of warranty, but she she didn't have to do anything at all. So it turns out um, it was twenty the voicemail or the invoice was like twenty three hundred dollars around that. So take away the fifteen hundred, that's eight hundred dollars. Um, yeah, it's right at eight hundred dollars, and it, right, it's like eight hundred three bucks with the with what it is. So I think that's the issue. So I'll I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's Friday, so she should be working tomorrow on the, at Super America. If not, I emailed her. Um, so we will see. If I don't hear anything from her by about twelve one o'clock, I'm going to call her again. Um, yeah, I don't want to get this girl in trouble, you know, at the dealership because she's super super cool. Um, but I mean, she she should have gave the dealership or she should have gave Super America and and I the correct invoice of where everything it was going to be i mean because how did how did it, that's how, that's what made the deal that's what made subaru decide their price they were going to help me out with so we'll see but um that was it <laughs> but you know i don't know it's just uh, uh god whatever all right peace